All right, folks, uh, welcome back. Of course, uh, we, uh, I'm sure we'll be talking a lot more about Hillary. And uh, interesting how Lanny Davis couldn't explain to us why she would have needed two phones to have two email accounts. Why not both on one phone? And Lanny Davis has worked in the White House, and he couldn't explain that. Very interesting. All right, uh, Jeff Rorta, spokesman for the St. Louis Police Officers Association, joins us. But first, let's all watch a little Eric Holder, and who doesn't love that? What was in those emails? was you know absolutely unacceptable they were horrific and in, in some cases i mean they're just disgusting um it was very clear um that we took action immediately you know to deal with those individuals um you know obviously there's a lot of conversation a lot of the other emails you know the emails that have been pointed out by the department of justice obviously do not look good there has to be a lot of follow-up to understand total context and in total fairness to anybody that's involved and you know we'll make decisions the city council and the government will make decisions based on you know what our findings are that's the mayor ferguson joining us now jeff rorta he's spokesman uh st louis police officers association former member of the missouri house of representatives jeff thank you good to talk to you again I, look there's no doubt and i think you even agreed uh recently that you know this justice department report pointed out some very troubling things but i want i want to focus with you on, on on something that the justice department report mentioned but for crying out loud, I would think it warrants a full investigation. I would think the media would be all over this. The six of the most, most credible witnesses in the, in the shooting of Michael Brown were afraid to come forward because they backed up the cop, the, the police version of the story, and not the hands up, don't shoot. There were signs up that said snitches get stitches. One woman put a couch against her door. She was so afraid that they would serve her with a subpoena and she'd be forced to tell the truth. Another elderly gentleman was willing to go to jail rather than testify. What about that climate that, that intimidates witnesses? Well, it's very real, Steve, and it's, it's, it's scary when, uh, when you're trying to find the truth and trying to reach justice. Well, should uh, it, do you believe that this should be a, a, as a, a, an area of concern equal to at least uh, 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 of the as of the other findings that the uh, Justice Department came up with? Well, it should it should have gotten more attention, obviously, and it really smacks the folks that that want to criticize the grand jury process right across the, the grand jury process, where witnesses like that who were facing a stigma or actual physical threats uh, could come forward in a, uh, a, a uh, process where where their identities are kept secret and safe, uh, then how do we get to the truth of the matter? Yeah. All right. Now, what what about the uh, the report? I mean, you've had some tough things to say about a flimsy tortilla, uh, and and you went on from there to elaborate. But in the end, you do agree that there are you know the way the court system was allegedly used for uh, for funding the coffers as opposed to raising taxes. Uh, so you have problems with some of what was found, correct? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and, you know, the the emails, uh, the seven or eight emails sent by three police department employees, those were deplorable, they were hurtful, they were racist. Uh, and the mayor, uh, by the way, didn't know until the day the report was released uh, about the identity of the folks that sent the emails, took swift action that same day. Um, so the, this myth that uh, the this information was sat on for some time is, is just just that a myth. Uh, but yeah, there was there were uh, structural problems in the court. Uh, there there are uh, some real issues uh, with the management of the court and the uh, the law enforcement goals that surround this um, traffic heavy traffic enforcement heavy uh, approach to things. Uh, but I never really saw in the Justice Department report. Uh, how that connects to a an environment of, of racial bias. I mean, we have three individual employees who who, who acted badly, um, and we have some structural problems in the court that that probably unduly disadvantage black uh, residents there and in the surrounding communities. But uh, I don't see the connection uh, to a a racial a racially motivated. Uh, 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 operation there yeah neither do i we have less than a, a minute left what's going to be the what's going to be the uh the, the i guess the end game here with uh, ferguson are the feds going to come in and take over or is the uh, town going to work with uh with the justice department do you think well I, you know 
Holder made his intention clear. He'd love to dismantle the police department. Uh, you know, that community will probably have a black mayor in the next election and a black police chief the next time there's a vacancy there and uh, and and more represented representation on the city council of African Americans. So, you know, the electoral process is going to right. work its way through these things, and now you're going to take okay. uh, control out of the hands of people that are going to be duly elected. Okay, Jeff, we will, we'll keep uh, up to date on that with you. Thank you very much. Charles Cook is next, folks. Don't go away.